All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power. So today I wanted to make a video about Larry Scott. Larry Scott is probably one of the most legendary bodybuilders in the history of the sport because he won the very first Mr. Olympia competition, which is a very significant achievement in bodybuilding. Um, so he lived from 1938 to 2014, where he died at the age of 74. Um, he was the first bodybuilder to ever win the Mr. Olympia competition, and he was also the first bodybuilder to win back-to-back -back Mr. Olympia competitions. In 1965, he won the inaugural Mr. Olympia competition, and in 1966, he would defend his title and repeat. So his stage weight at his peak was 208 pounds at 5'7". Um, so he won the Olympia back in 65 and 66, back-to-back, -back, like I said. And the person who trained him for this Olympia was a man by the name of Vince Garanda. Now, I'm going to be making a separate video about Vince because Vince was a very, a very legendary and controversial guy back in the day. I think you guys are really going to enjoy the video that I make about Vince. Um, he's trained a lot of great bodybuilders. He's trained a lot of great celebrities. And he had a lot of noteworthy uh, interactions with guys like Arnold and, you know, Muhammad Makawe and all these different bodybuilders that he worked with. So Vince Garanda keep a lookout for that video. That video is going to be very interesting. And I think you guys are going to enjoy it a lot. So Vince Garanda trained Larry Scott. And when Larry Scott came to Vince Garanda, he weighed 157 pounds. So from the time that he came to Vince and then Vince trained him for the Olympia, he went from 157 pounds to 208 pounds. Um, so the, the controversy with that is that Vince Garanda claims to have been a lifetime natural bodybuilder and does not believe in the use of anabolics. But Vince Garanda was basically the original bodybuilding guru, contest prep coach. Um, so the theory is that even though he claimed natural and claimed to be against bodybuilding drugs, he probably, you know, put his athletes on all kinds of bodybuilding drugs because to go from 157 to 208 just from working with this guy, that's a massive transformation. So anyway, moving on, Larry Scott and Vince Garanda worked together and essentially they invented the exercise known as the preacher curl. And originally, um, it was known as the Scott Curl. So again, Garanda trained guys like Frank Zane, Lou Ferrigno, Muhammad Makawe, um, guys like Arnold Schwarzenegger would work out at his gym, uh, Vince's gym. So the, the controversial thing about Larry Scott is he retired at the very young age of 28 after his 1966 Olympia win. He would then come back in 1979 and compete in a couple shows. Um, he competed in the 1979 Canada Diamond Pro Cup, and he placed 11th in that show, 11th or 12th in that show. Then he would come back again in the 1979 Vancouver Grand Prix, where he did not place. So his comeback was a little bit of a fail. He probably should have just stayed in retirement and kept the legacy that he had of winning the first Mr. Olympia and the second Mr. Olympia. Um, and he probably would have been fine with that. So let's go through uh, a couple things about his uh, competition history here. So one of the things that's very important to remember about Larry Scott is not only did he win the very first Mr. Olympia competition, but he was the first bodybuilder to ever win the big three titles. So he won all three of the biggest titles in bodybuilding, the Mr. America, the Mr. Universe, and the Mr. Olympia competition. He was the first bodybuilder to ever win all three of those titles. So again, he's a very important legend in bodybuilding history. So his first show was the 1959 Mr. Idaho, which he won. He won the 1960 Mr. California, the 1962 Mr. America, the 1963 Mr. Universe, the 1964 Mr. Universe, the 1965 Mr. Olympia, and the 1966 Mr. Olympia as well. So two-time Mr. Universe winner, Mr. America winner, Mr. California winner, and two-time Olympia winner. Um, so again, fast forward to 2014, he died at the age of 74, and again, this was not a steroid-related death. He died of Alzheimer's disease, completely unrelated to any use of steroids, um, so I don't want to hear any negativity about he died from bodybuilding. He died from a completely you know, natural disease that's, for the most part, just genetic. Um, so Larry Scott was a great bodybuilder, a true legend. I hope you enjoyed the video, a little history lesson for you guys. Nick Strength and Power, signing out.